Happen to anyone who is susceptible to developing dementia, stroke, Parkinson's, uh, or people who have sensory impairment like hearing and vision loss. So why are coronavirus patients affected by this? Our health reporter Haley Hernandez back with us from the newsroom this morning. Hey, good morning, guys. So we know COVID can affect smell and taste, which is an indication it can affect the nervous system. So it comes as no surprise to ICU physicians that COVID can cause delirium. The big surprise is it's affecting more more and more of the younger patients. Delirium is a common complication for patients in the hospital. Actually, 40% of patients may experience this, but that's usually because they tend to be older and already have dementia, stroke, Parkinson's, or other sensory illnesses. According to Dr. Ahmed Salem, who works with patients at the VA, St. Luke's, and Ben Taub, coronavirus is causing delirium in 30, 40, and 50-year-olds. And so we're seeing a lot of younger patients affected by delirium as well, which is not something that we had seen commonly before. He says COVID-19 makes for a perfect storm to cause delirium. Uh, patients with decreased mobility um, who are uh, away from their family uh, with sensory impairment, uh, unable to really have a regular sleep-wake cycle. Um, and also that are uh, on medications, for example, to help them uh, remain comfortable in the ventilator. Uh, Essentially, these are all um, conditions or situations that can give rise to pretty profound delirium. And he says any fever or infection can also cause delirium at home. So here's what to look for. Patients unable to retain focus. They can't recall events in chronological order. The patient may appear to be withdrawn, less responsive. Then there's the hyperactive delirium. That's where the patient is very agitated and may even become combative or have hallucinations. To prevent it... Try to make sure that we mobilize them as much as possible, keep them awake during the day, allow them to get... Um, a good night's uh, sleep. Those interventions, though simple, um, go a long way in trying to mitigate delirium. So then the question is, is this kind of delirium long term? Well, among coronavirus survivors, that's not yet known. However, with other illnesses, this is an indication that dementia or some other neurological complication can affect patients.